What's up, guys? It's your boy Mafia here. Um, it's been a bit, uh, like three weeks. <laughs> I think my last video was on the 11th of March, and we are on the 2nd of April. Um, I couldn't even say April Fools to you guys, so I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for my absence. I did have spring break from my uni university, and if you are new around here and you're like, "What the hell? What kind of break?" Um, if you look at my other video before this, it's been a couple weeks. <laughs> I appreciate you guys uh, for sticking around with me um, as long as you have, because you've seen my inconsistencies and stuff. Uh, but this will be my first review. And let me just get into it right away for the people that are new around here, for the people that have been around. I've never really done a review. To get a good review of a game, you have to play it a lot. Uh, and as of as of today, I have, I think, 48 hours in Tiny Tina's Wonderland. That is the game that I will be reviewing today. Um, it is part of or kind of a spinoff of the Borderlands series. It's truthfully probably my second most favorite Borderlands game, right? Um, or Gearbox game, you could say. It felt like they put so much heart into this game in comparison to their previous game which was borderlands 3 it felt like so much love was put into this game in the last well, hold on. in the last three years it came out in september of 2019 so like two years two years they put so much heart into it and you see that the story felt so so grabbing so pulling i'm not going to spoil anything the story is really a whole nother story right because it's yeah it's borderlands game like it is a borderlands game so there's borderlands characters in there right but the main borderlands character that you see is tina or tiny tina uh which you see in previous games she just likes exploding things you don't really see too much emotion from her besides excitement and explosions and that she wants a friend right and you're always that friend to her um but in this one you see her as this let me preference this this story is based off a, of dungeons and dragons uh so you're playing like a, a tabletop game i mean it's still like borderland style game shooting you know looting so it has elements of dungeons and dragons in it now i'm not a huge Dungeons and dragons fan or not fan but head in the sense of like i don't really I don't really know too much about it and i haven't really played it i don't have the experience uh but i i know a few things and you could it's you know it's shining through you could you know, roll dice for loot roll dice for money uh they have like the tabletop sense of her she built this whole landscape um for their for the adventure right so you can walk around with like this big head this tiny little body almost like you're moving your character in dungeons and dragons it's called bunkers and badasses for anyone <laughs> um, in this game. That's what it's called. Apart from all that, that I really loved, I loved the the setting, and I loved the difference that this game was. Right? It's different because the story felt it felt phenomenal. Right? Like it wasn't it wasn't drawing away at any time. Right? It was always on your it was always on you. Right? You you're always getting something different, something new, something you're getting a story of multiple things multiple people right and 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 you get that idea that tina for a kid is not even a kid a teenager she's really grown right obviously she doesn't have parents so she you know she's doing this all by herself but she's really grown like you you get the story of her and then you get the story of the, the fate maker which is you instead of you know a vault, um a vault hunter you're a fate maker you're just the main character in the game Dungeons and Dragons uh you you just get um some of her story along with yours and I think they did really well with it right and it's not even just that her characters that she makes in that game are amazing um the narration was phenomenal <laughs> I want to say that right now because Tina was in it obviously and I'm trying to think of her voice actor I can't think of it at the moment uh then they have Wanda Sykes which I love I love me a good 
a good bit of Wanda Sykes in a movie or a show or something. And I got to see her throughout the whole entire game um, being a side narrator uh, fret. So she was a robot. Um, and then we have Andy Samberg, I believe that's his name. Um, and he plays Valentine. That's his role. He's another side narrator. He was also, he played really well for it. He played really well. You know, I always enjoyed Lon Lonely Island when he did that and I enjoy a lot of his camp comedies. Uh, I think he's a producer and stuff now. So it was just more like the setting, the setting of the game and the ambiance, the music was really good. The gameplay, obviously it's a Borderlands game. So you're not going to get too much, uh, heavily different, uh, difference in the gameplay. Um, but it all just blended well together, right? <laughs> um, the loot, uh, the percentages of getting different types of loot was solid, I'd say. Uh, for me, I think I got a little lucky. I got legendaries earlier on in the game. Um, and I know a lot of my friends did and a lot of people that I saw on YouTube didn't. So I think this is probably one of the best, if not the best, vanilla versions of one of their games, of one of the Borderlands games. What I mean by that is without DLC, without like, oh, a mod or something, this game on release felt good, right? And you know what's scary to me is that within these last couple of years, I felt okay with so many bugs in a game coming out because it seems like more and more people push developers to push out games faster. And to be honest with you, I might have found two to three to four bugs um within the whole game and they weren't game breaking within i want to say 16 to 18 hours of the game i beat the story um and then they have end game content that kind of held me down for another 10 hours um that i enjoyed and i i, I i've seen a lot of commenting on on you know the player base that they also enjoyed it which is awesome because that means that end game content actually means something on the released game like the the initial released game right you have so much it, it feels like you have a lot in 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 the end game for this game you know what i mean like there's so much that you can do and there's so much time it can like you can suck up right because like before it felt like the end games were pretty pretty lackluster in the sense of like yeah you go for legendaries and stuff like that but really all you do is you want to make another class you want to make another class but there is end game content to this right uh, also biggest thing i think my biggest love for this game is the side quests the side quests felt like main quest how much love that they put into the main quest it felt like they equally did that into side quests right like you could go into Borderlands 2, or Borderlands 3, or the prequel, uh, or Borderlands 1, and the side quests, some of them were good, and some of them were just there to give you XP. You know, like, oh, go over there, shoot something, right? Well, most, if not all the side quests that I've seen so far in the many hours that I've played this game were worth it, were worth it picking it up. Yeah, of course I wanted the XP, but I wanted to see, I wanted to see all the references. I wanted to have fun, you know, seeing their story. So it was just enjoyable all the way around. Um, really the only con to me that I think I, I, I had with the game in total is uh, my luck with legendaries. <laughs> I guess that's really it, right? I just took, you know, a couple seconds thinking about that and there was not really a, a, a a con that I felt like in this game, but you may you, you could comment down below if you know you you feel like there is a con to the game that you you saw or you thought was really kind of a deal breaker for you, and and maybe it'll come to me and be like, yeah, I guess I guess that is right. Um, but to be honest with you, this game is just it was nice because you got to you got you got classes right. Um, those classes are not gender based and they don't have a story behind them and they're one tree instead of three trees i guess that's my own i know here's here's one i think i'd want more from each class not saying that the ones that we have now aren't good enough because the the one tree for each class is crazy because you get so much out of that one tree 
but like I, I feel like getting a different play style and getting those three trees or maybe two trees out of one one class would add a bit more now they don't have to do that i think that's just an additive thing uh, and it's not really a huge con to me but i feel like that might might be my only like tinker on the game um graphically beautiful and i was playing on medium <laughs> um gameplay wise beautiful uh gunplay obviously it's a borderlands game beautiful one of my favorite series i think i'm gonna review this game a full five out of five mafias i was gonna say four out of five but really i don't have too many kinks with this game if at all any so i know some people do um to make it an amazing game but to me in my eyes it was something that i'd play for the next hundred hours all right guys i don't want to keep you here too long i think i talked a long time already um people are probably gonna get annoyed by me and my voice so i am sorry for that uh but uh thank you if you did get all the way to this part of the video uh hit me with like a, a little a little one of them them cat emojis in in the in the comments don't ask me <laughs> but anyways if you are new around here and you enjoyed this i don't know if i'm gonna be doing reviews for other games but if you do want to see it um along with the cat emoji just tell me hey your review was actually kind of cool and i'd like to see more reviews on games because i play multiple types of games uh will i be doing borderlands videos should i also <laughs> um but anyways i am going to uh leave you guys with that i appreciate you guys as always if you could hit the like for me to show me to other people that would be amazing i shall see you guys later